Hi guys, I'm Gordon Reed from Middle Boop Studios and today I'm going to be showing you a couple of new tools in Adobe InDesign. We'll be using Content Aware Fit and Adobe Fonts, so let's get started. When we're putting together a client presentation, there are a couple of factors that usually you need to consider. That is the placement of imagery and the use of font. Now, as you can see here, this is a, a little healthcare brand that I've been working on that I need to show a couple of different touch points on one page. One of the challenges that you have with trying to fit images into frames in previous InDesigns, sometimes you would get an artboard that would appear like this. The images wouldn't crop properly. Now, we have a great new feature. Under Properties and Frame Fitting, we've got Content Aware Fit. So once you've selected the right frame that you want, all you do is click on that and it frames that image perfectly for you. Let's scroll over to a couple more and do those again. Just clicking Content Aware Fit, really, really simple, really nice, quick way of framing those images. Now, if a couple of them are off, let's just click on that circle here and drag them manually just to get it absolutely perfect. As you've already seen from using the Content Aware Fit, we made it a lot quicker to drop them in place. Once you've got those images working, you want to start looking at type and fonts. Start working out how you consider and how you work with the right fonts. We've got some great new options with Adobe Fonts into making sure you get the perfect font quickly and easily. So let's just click on character here, the little drop down arrow. Now let's move to find more. Now this opens up every font that's available in Adobe Fonts online. And we want to filter them a little bit more. So let's click on the filter here. Let's say I want to click a sans serif font. So that will filter down into this drop down all of the sans serif fonts that are available online. And you'll see as I'm scrolling down through the fonts that they're changing on the artboard. Once you've found the font that you particularly like, let's scroll right to the end here, the cloud icon and click activate. Now that's going to pull up this box, activate 14 fonts. So that will just download them straight from Adobe fonts. There we go, now that they've activated, you can see here the Creative Cloud icons come up. We've got a font that we're happy with, we've got a document that we're happy with. I think we're ready to show a client.